Okay, we got another product review today. We've got the OEWOC inspection camera. This one has a built in battery 2800 milliamp, large capacity battery. I think it's got 50 foot of 50 foot of line on it. This is from OEWOC. So I appreciate you sending this out so we can uh, check it out on this channel. We love doing product reviews. So we'll run this thing through the paces. and Yeah, this would be a good inspection camera for your engine. If you want to go in and check the cylinders or the run it down the spark plug holes. or We're going to run it through the intake manifold on, on the Cadillac. The one that's got 160... 165,000 miles on it. I'm not sure if we can see the actual valves, but I'm sure it's going to be oily in there. And then we're going to run it through. Um, I've got a drain line out here on the patio. This is a sewer camera, so we're going to snake it down through there, go out as far as as far as we can go. See how well it works. Like I say, I appreciate y'all sending this out so we can check it out on the channel. And you can get this on Amazon. You can go to, I'll have a link down below. Oiwak inspection camera. And get it on Amazon. So you can use something like this for a lot of different stuff. It have, has different accessories. Like here, you got a little hook on it. Different things you can connect to it, like if you drop the ring down in the sink, you can reach down in there and grab it out of there. So that'd come in real handy. Okay, here's our OEWOC inspection camera. Got your instructions here. Got your charging cable there. That's what I like about it, right there. You can charge it up, you don't have to keep putting. Mine's got the nine volt battery in it. I always, this thing, that thing is hard on batteries, I'll tell you. It goes through batteries like crazy. We'll get this cover off of here so you can see better. Turn it on. Turn it back off. This one comes with an 8 gigabyte SD card. Here's your on and off right here. And this is your screen. This is your camera brightness, or your, turn it back on, brightness for your camera, see how you can dim it down, make it bright, okay, here's your menus right here, you got resolution, you got language, you got Brightness, zoom, zoom in, rotate, you got format, you got space, version of your software on there. So with this computer cable, I imagine if they have an update, you could probably go online and update your firmware on this if, if you need to. Okay, this looks like 50 foot. That's a lot of cable. A lot of cable on there. This is supposed to be waterproof. And it's got a little ring on here that you unscrew. That's where you connect your attachments. That's your attachments there. 
that's a little hook and that's a little magnet that's cool and that's a little mirror boy they thought of everything didn't they screw that on the camera it gives you a little mirror that you can look to the side with and you gotta unscrew your the tip of it here to to screw these on just like that and you want to keep this on there when you're not using any so you don't want to get anything on your threads that's pretty cool that's your charging cable okay what I like about this one it has a rechargeable battery and you you can also take pictures and you can also record with it so that's a really neat feature yeah you can go down here in your menu down here down here is your pictures and right over here is your video so that is neat let me switch over okay there I'm running video you can see the very right top of the screen you can see it counting You click OK to stop it. You can also take pictures with it, so that's really cool. It records it to your SD card. So once you get your video recorded, you can take that out and stick it into a card reader on your computer and you can take that. In fact, we'll do that. We'll take some of the videos that we make of uh, using this. And we'll take that SD card, we'll record it, and then we'll, uh, and then I'll show you what the, what the pictures look like. Okay, this one says 15 meters. Your cable and your camera is also connected with the with the USB port. Let's see, you can plug it in right here. Your arrow arrow pointing in. Plug it in right here. So that's nice. You'll be able to disconnect that if you want to, and bring this into the house. So you can get your SD card off of there. Plug it back in. I'm gonna unplug it now. I'm gonna get it charged up so we can use it here in a minute. So let's go over to the car and let's check it out. Okay, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go run this thing up through here and see if we can see the valves. So we're going to have to open up the throttle body. Probably need to stick something in there to hold it open. Okay, I need to turn my light on.
Okay, this is a storm drain. If I can get it open here. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna run this through the storm drain here. I'm out here in the rain, but I'm going to show you this anyway. If you had a long ways to go, I'd probably take that end off right here. I would take this camera. Well, that might actually help. Put that camera out here on the front of it. Put that camera on the front of it like that. Kind of help keep it centered. Get you some zip ties or tape. Then you can run that down, down through your line here. Run it down through the sewer line here. This one here's got so many bins and stuff in it, it's hard for it to go anywhere. I'd have to go out in the backyard to, to the main sewer line. So if you want to run this a long distance, then you need to strap it to a, a rotor rooter cable 